but is conversion to Islam quite so easy to deal with in practice? George and Liz Ford faced a family crisis when their teenage daughter Rachel converted to Islam as a student in Leeds. Well, when I was at school, we didn't have religious education in, into other uh, religions. It was just Christianity. So unfortunately, my understanding of other religions was very poor. So my concept of Islam was incredibly limited and I actually didn't give it any thought. Prior to Rachel under undergoing her conversion, I, I had the impression, be it being fed by the media, I hate to add, and by perhaps populist films, that um, most Muslims were kind of hell-bent on, on, on the destruction of, of Western civilization, were all kind of um, extremist fun, fun, fundament, fundamentalists. I first became exposed to Islam when I first came to university. Back at home in my village, there really aren't any Muslims at all. When I came to Leeds, obviously there was quite a few, and I was very curious. I think at the end of the day, I basically just wanted answers as to why we were here, what was our purpose. I was just curious, you know, it's a new way of, ways of thinking of things. I think my, 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 my reactions were shock, horror, disbelief. Was it a fad of Rachel's? Was she going to get over it? Over it? What would our friends think about it? I, 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 sent, I sent her emails um, saying that this has been a great blow and a, and a great shock to the family, Rachel. How, how are we going to cope with it? What have we done wrong? Um, why have you rejected our ideals, our, our religion, our dress code, our personal code, all out the window? Why? What have we done that's so wrong? I just emailed him back and I said, it's not like I've come home and said I'm gay or I'm taking drugs or anything like that. And I'm not going to do that either. I'm not going to come home and say these things. When she started to cover herself from head to toe in reams of cloth and wouldn't have her hair showing, and basically it seemed to me she didn't care what she looked like, if I was to take the hijab off tomorrow and walk out in the street with my hair loose, my mother would be dancing in the street. She'd be very happy. <laughs> she doesn't want me to hide. She feels like, I guess she feels I'm hiding behind it, but I'm not. Um, I actually feel, I feel more secure. I feel that less people are staring at me for the wrong reasons. My, my main thought process was this. Do we rip the family apart for the sake of, of religious dogma, or do we concentrate on our family and keep, us, keep, keep, keep the whole aspect of family life together? We form the point of view that the best line of action was to, 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 to take was that, 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 that we loved our daughter so much that we were prepared to, to, to not lose her and to accept her standpoint and her religious beliefs. When we go and see Rachel at university, it does seem strange. They know her as Latifa. They don't know her as Rachel. I will call her Rachel. I haven't actually changed my name. I've just added to it. I felt I needed to because Rachel, at the end of the day, was my Christian name. It was a name that was given to me on the day that I was christened. I'm not a Christian anymore. But while her family has come round, it's been a different story with their wider social circle. Local friends um, were very much against the situation on a covert basis rather, rather, than, rather than an overt basis, um, giving grimaces, um, frowns, a kind of vibe of disbelief. Um, colleagues, we, we are, I believe, lo locally re respected people. They were very polite, but th they were polite for our benefit and not for the benefit, the benefit of Rachel. Yes, yes. Yes. There was a, a time where we went out with uh, um, a friend, no, a friend who unfortunately I won't class as a friend now, and she was certainly plied with alcohol, even though Rachel was as a Muslim, of course, does not drink and she will not drink. She, and she asked for a coke and it had something else in it definitely has something else in it things that have bothered me have been reaction of people that i do care about if they have been against it when there was a family event 
a while back where I did feel that I was snubbed and I felt that my family was neglected as well because of me and what I had done. Frankly, this has now given me a very great insight into how my minorities must feel. I, I've n never been a minority. I, I've, I've always been a ma ma majority. And to be on, on, on the other side of the fence has been a very cursory experience for me. I, I feel that they have been through a lot. I mean, it's a huge shock for them to have a daughter who's decided to change to a, a religion that they would see as so totally different to their own, even though it isn't, and they do understand that now. When Rachel did change and reject a lot of what we stood for, why, why, why was it our fault? Was it our fault? Well, now I can say no, it's not, because we, we did do our best. We're only human beings. And now we actually have a very forthright, intelligent, independent young lady as a daughter, and I'm so proud of her. But we, I can say that today, but probably last year, the year before, I would have been saying different things. But life is a journey.